safe and sound. Now that's what I call a rescue mission. Ugh. Millennia, I can't imagine what you're going through, but you had us worried sick. I know. I realize now what I put you through. You two risked your lives for me. I can't let that be for nothing now, can I? I've decided. I'm going to live, and I'm going to fight. I'll end this war, so no one else has to lose a loved one. That's what my husband would have wanted. <sighs> well, good. I'm glad you're starting to feel better. It'll hurt for a long time, but the pain will pass. Thanks, Brittany. And thank you, Rita. I thought I had nothing left to live for, but I have you. I'm so thankful we have each other to lean on. Oh, hush, now you're just being dramatic. You've got a point, though. Only reason we're alive is because you were there to return the favor. Oh, I wish I could love someone as powerfully as you do, Millie. You've got so much passion in your heart. And if there's one thing I've learned from you, it's that the power of love can beat anything! <laughs> the power of love, huh? The hard part is recognizing when a man's worth that love. But I guess that's not impossible. Screw Mr. Wonderful! I'm gonna look for Mr. Right, and this time, I mean it! Think of it this way. Millie had the best husband, and Brit had the worst. I just gotta land somewhere in the middle. Still so young. Oh, what I'd give for half that optimism. Don't give me that, you cougar. You'll catch a man too. We're on the prowl together now. No, oh, please. My dating days are long since over. Age is just a number. You're never too old to find love. Besides, I bet Becky would love having a real dad. And maybe a little brother or sister. That's it, young lady. You're grounded. <laughs> it feels so good to have a family again. Just being loved makes all the difference. With ladies like you in my life, everything will be okay. <laughs>